Krishna. Ladies and gentlemen of Waka, my name is Moody Law, I'm secretary of this uh, August group, and we like to remember those who are no longer with us by spending a little time with them. And we do it in a simple manner. Uh, we light a unity candle, and from that unity candle we'll light the names on a scroll of those people who are no longer with us. We're fortunate this year to say that we've only lost one member of the Waka family. His name is Dave, his call is W6DAC from Northern California on the Oregon border. Dave was a, a regular check-in with us recently. Uh, after many years of not being able to get his upgrade to his license, he finally did it. And uh, we just love having him out, Dave. was always a cheer. So at this time, we'll ask one of the members, Don, to go forward and uh, cast this, uh, burn this scroll with W6DACs, fall on it, and we will commit his memory as to the smoke that rises above the heavens. What we like to do as we get uh, and uh, members no longer no longer are with us is we like to re have someone come up and just give us a little bit of what they know about that person and uh, what they feel that we will remember for years and years to come. And I can think of no one better suited to do that than the guy who always checked him in with a woman and that's our net manager. Uh, somewhere here we have W0Q and I. Bill, the seat of honor is yours. I looked at uh, my logbook here and uh, it was only about a week and a half before uh, Dave's passing that he came on the air. And he sounded so great and so optimistic. He said he was going in for a five-way bypass surgery. I remember that. He was a little bit kind of, well, you know, everybody has a you know, feeling about it. Anyway, uh, he ran into surgery, and he came out of surgery, and then about one hour later, he had a stroke. And uh, he passed away because of the stroke. But this, apparently, I found out, is not uncommon for this type of surgery and uh, in other words, blood clots and things of this nature. I can still remember him saying, oh, hey, I'm really looking forward to it. Maybe I can breathe again or something like that. Yeah, he wanted to walk and yeah, walk again. Yeah, that's us. Right. And he wanted to join us here in the walk or retreat. Mm -hmm. That's right. But, uh, you know, when I don't know if it was, yeah, it was Moody who came up on the first of the net and said, uh, Dave is a silent key. Now, just blew me away. Because, I mean, here's a guy that we've all talked to less than a week and a half before. Now he's just happy. But his memory lives on. Oh, you've got to believe in that. Exactly. So, I would, if he came on the air right now, I would, I would recognize his voice. <laughs> We'd like to close this solemn ceremony with a prayer for the memory of our dear brother Dave by K-A-6-Y-Z, Reverend Tony Strauter. Father God, Almighty, we come rest once again in the blessed name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for those who have gathered, Lord, to do a memorial, Lord, a memory of our dear brother, of our friend, Lord, one who we fellowship with, talked with, communicated with, and that we love, Father, his family. Lord, we are here at this time. Farewell, my dear friend, and we'll lead him in your charge. In, your in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.